Where to focus and how much of the image should be in focus can be a difficult question. If you want to take a picture of a flower, you have to find out what part of that flower brought your attention. What feature stands out? What is the essence of the flower? It is here that you put your focus point. There are quite some possibilities and they depend on what you want to be the main subject of your image. Is it the whole flower, a certain petal, the center of the flower, a line or the stamen? You choose the point of interest. Now, we're shooting with a wide aperture, so the depth of field will be narrow. This means that most of the image will be out of focus, making it more important to get your focus point right. There's one question I ask myself when choosing my focus point. What stands out and what draws my attention? So in that way I don't choose the focus point. It's the flower that dictates me where to put it. Quite often there's a certain part of the flower that really draws your attention. Your eyes just automatically go to it. Mostly this is the best place to put your focus point. This flower for example. If you look at this image your eyes can't resist the lines of the back petal. This is the first part of the flower that catches your eye, so it's a very good place to put your focus point. But is it the only possible focus point? Actually no. In this image the focus point is on the front part of the first petal. And this also works. Have you noticed how the pattern on the back petals have disappeared? Because of the shallow depth of field they are blurred into the petal. And they don't draw any attention in this version. Both options are good focus points. The second option only works because the pattern of the back petals don't ask for attention. Now, what happens when I replace the back petal? Here I have the back petal of the first image. Now I blur it to be out of focus and I put it on top of the second image, like this. Now if you look carefully at the front petal you will notice that that part is in focus. But you still may have the feeling that the image is out of focus. The lines of the blurred back petal still draw too much attention. That's where your eyes go first and not at the actual focus point. Like this the image doesn't work for me. Now the focus point seemed to be wrong, while at first it was ok for me. This means that focus points should be the point of interest in the image that draws most attention. So the question you should ask is, what part of the image draws most attention? That is the point where you should put your focus point. Let's have a look at some more examples. If you have a look at this poppy, there's one small thing that catches your eye. It is the little black stamen at the center of the flower. We're shooting our images with a very shallow depth of field, so only a very small part of the flower can be in focus. I just have to put the focus point on the small stamen. Even if I lay my focus point a little more forward or backwards, my eye will always be drawn to this point. And when the focus point is not on the stamen, I have the perception that I missed focus. Now, there's also the question how much should be in focus. That depends a lot on your style and choice. I love the blur in the backgrounds. And if I have to choose between a blurred background or the whole subject in focus, the background will always win. This means that if I want to put a focus on the center of a flower, that not always this whole center will be in focus. So I have to choose within that center where to put my focus point. Now you might think that in this case I should put the focus point on the front part of that center. Well, actually that's not always the best choice. Let's have a look at this example, where the stamen really draw your attention. Now in this flower the area that draws my attention is a little bigger. And when I want to blur the background enough, I will never be able to have that whole area in focus. Now is the question, should I lay it on the front, the center or the back part of that flower center? Again, you have to ask the same question, what draws my attention? 
The stamen on the back side stand out against the petals and ask most attention. The stamen on the front, they partly cover each other, so they ask less attention. So putting my focus point on the back stamen is the best choice. Here you have an example where I put the focus on the front part of the stamen, ignoring the part that draws all attention. The depth of field is the same as in previous image, but this one doesn't seem to be in focus that much. That's because the area that draws most attention competes with the actual focus point. This just doesn't feel right. Also in this image where I put the focus at the center of the stamen, you still have the feel that I missed the focus point. So again, put your focus point on the area of the flower that draws most attention. To get it right, you really have to pay attention and react to the part that asks this attention. Putting your focus point right can take a lot of concentration. You really have to think it through. Or actually, you have to feel what is right. We're not taking snapshots, we're creating images, so we have to take our time. If you like these videos, then subscribe to our newsletter and receive a series of free videos full of tips on macro photography. Get promotion codes for our masterclasses and much, much more. Quite often, it's very obvious where the focus point should lay. Let's have a look at some more examples. The focus point for this poppy is at the center of the flower. A little more to the back so the stamen stand out and the back petal is in focus. For this image I put my focus point on the tops of the stamen. That was the part that drew most attention, not the center more down. And for this one it is the front part of the stamen together with the front petal of the second flower. Here, for this anemone, the depth of field is very shallow and only a very small part is in focus. The focus point lays on the back part of the front petal as well as on the petal on the left side. For this image, it's clear what draws your attention. It's the stamen. But for this one the focus lays more on the curl of one of the flowers and the tips of another one. Actually, one of the stamen is also in focus, but they don't really draw that much attention in this image. For this anemone it's the front part of the center that is my focus point. Also for these daisies it's quite obvious where to put your focus point. And sometimes you have the choice between one flower or the other. For this composition, both options are valid. Two different stories, two different main characters. Or as you will, two sides of the same story. Sometimes the flower doesn't even have to be in focus to have a good, interesting image, like over here. So remember, put your focus point at the part of the flower that draws most attention. Here in this image I made the mistake to put the focus on the front part of the flower. I didn't miss my focus point, but I put my focus point on the wrong part of the flower. The dark spots are the features that really draw your attention, so you have to put your focus point on them. This looks a whole lot better. Oops.